Hey, it's Eric. Beautiful weekend morning here in Northern California out for a ride. I was asked recently a question that prompted me to make this video. I was talking with some folks about hairy breast and the question was asked, well, what, what would your top tip be for anybody wanting to ride Perry Breast? And that got me thinking, and actually I got more than one tip. Got about nine. So, uh, let's go with my top tips for anybody wanting to do Perry Breast. So if I had to pick one piece of advice, and as I said, these tips are not necessarily in order. You can apply them to yourself, you know, whatever way you think. But if I had to pick one that was maybe the best piece of advice, it would be something that I did when I first did PVP. And that is to ride with someone who has done it before. Because if you know from watching my videos, almost as important, maybe as important, as just you know, the strength and the endurance to, to do the ride is knowing how to do it. It's a big event, a lot of parts to it, and knowing how to do it is really important. You can be really strong and go out and do things wrong and just either have a terrible time or not finish or whatever. So if you can, if you haven't done it before, do the ride with someone who has. They'll know those things and they will help keep you from making mistakes that might affect your, your ability to finish or certainly that will affect your ability to have a good time on the ride. And that's really why I did this whole series of PVP tips videos. When I started doing them, uh, there really wasn't a lot of information out there on just how to do the event. Uh, and I thought, well, let me offer my experience to other riders in the hopes that they can benefit from what I've learned. Because I can tell you definitely from having done, you know, finished the ride three times, the second and third times, much easier. But I knew it was coming up. So that's my probably top tip is do with somebody who has done the ride before. Benefit from their experience and you'll have a better time. So whether or not you can find somebody who has done the ride before, try and find somebody to ride with. As I'm recording this and then uploading it, it's going to be about three months until PVP, maybe a little less. So between now and then, if you're seeing this on time, Find somebody to ride with. Set up a plan. So agree that you and your friend are going to try and do the event together. Now, it may turn out you don't finish together, but at least try and start out with somebody and have at least the idea that the two of you, or maybe more, are going to stick together, help each other, encourage each other, etc. It makes a big difference having somebody to ride with. And sticking together, even if it means that sometimes you may be going a little slower than you had planned. Other times your friend may be going a little slower than they had planned, just so you can stick together. But having two people looking at things like route sheets, looking out for things around you, someone to talk to, it's going to make a big difference. It makes the ride a lot more fun, too, because you can share that experience as you're doing it and then you know months years later you can be talking about hey you remember when we got caught in the rain outside Carre? it'll make the ride a lot more fun ride with somebody else find a friend find a ride buddy and as much as you can stick with them my next tip is something I've talked about a lot in these videos that's fairly simple and it is just stay on the bike to the extent that you can, you should always be riding. Minimize the amount of time that you are off the bike and not riding and not doing something productive like 
eating or sleeping or whatever. You gotta wait for the clock. The clock is always running. And you want to save your off the bike time for those important things. So go back and look at my video about rest stop management. I'll put a link in the description. It's all about just making sure that if you're not riding, you're doing something valuable. You're not standing around taking pictures. You're not just kind of lollygagging, shooting the breeze. If you want to talk with your friends, uh, get back on the bike and do it. Stay on the bike as much as you can, and that is going to free up more time for those other things that you really want to do, like sleep. If you can save yourself an hour over the course of a day just by being efficient at rest stops, uh, not wasting time, etc., uh, that's another hour of sleep that you can have that night, and that's going to be very valuable for you. So, big tip, stay on the bike. Now, speaking of your bike, another tip, and I think I've talked about this in prior videos, is to get your bike ready. It should be ready now. Uh, if you're still waiting on a custom bike, uh, it's getting into kind of nail-biting territory right about now. You should have your bike all put together, and I would definitely recommend, if you haven't done it already, put everything on the bike that you plan on starting off PBP with. Bags, lights, anything that's going to be on that bike when you're out riding. What you want to do is make sure that everything about your bike the bike itself, to the way the things are fastened onto it, to the way that maybe your spare clothes are lashed down. Everything has been tested. So you don't get out there on the first morning or the first you know few kilometers and find out that you know the bungee cord that you thought was gonna hold that jacket on just really isn't working the way it should. Get your bike put together, put everything on it, and go for a long ride. Make sure that everything is going to stay on there over the long haul. You're looking for rattles, you're looking for things falling off, things coming loose, clothing getting loose and maybe flapping around, anything like that. Get your bike put together, test it out, do a long ride, as you will be riding with it on PVP. Oh, and one related tip. I would recommend, before you leave for France, put a pair of new tires on the bike. Don't do it the night before you start the ride. That's just a recipe for disaster. Something could go wrong. You could put them on wrong. Uh, they could not seat correctly, whatever. So before you leave for France, put a pair of new tires on. Do a few test rides when you get over there, which you definitely should. And uh, you know, they're not going to wear out over the course of a few test rides. So new tires, new tires, new tubes, get yourself ready for the event. So riding with a buddy is a good lead into another one of my probably top tips, and that is to get ready to ride through the low points. You are almost guaranteed at some point, maybe more than once, on your PVP, to have a point where you just you just want to get off the bike. You're tired of riding, you're you're wet, you're cold, you're uncomfortable, your legs hurt, whatever. It's very normal at times like that to think I'm just gonna get off the bike, it's just not worth it. Having somebody there with you who you're riding with, who can help encourage you to get back on the bike. Uh, is going to help get you through those times. And conversely, if you're riding with someone, uh, they are going to go through that kind of thing once or more times during PvP. And you can help them get back on the bike. Now this has definitely happened to me when I was riding my first PvP with, uh, with my my friend Peter, who had done it before, 
That was 2007. It was a rainy year. The weather was terrible. We were riding on fixed gear bikes, which is making everything even more difficult. And I remember we had pulled into the control at Carré on the way outbound, I believe it was. And we had sat down in the cafeteria to eat something. And I had my back turned to the windows. Peter was looking out them and he could see that while we were in there, it had started raining again. And we got through eating and he turned, you know, well, so we got through eating and I turned around and looked outside and uh, Peter looked at me and he looked outside and he gave me some words of advice and got me back on the bike. And we got back and we eventually finished that ride. It was a t terribly difficult adventure, but, but we did finish it. So anyway, you're, you're going to have those times yourself out there. And whether you're with somebody, whether you're by yourself, you just be prepared to kind of struggle through those. Above all, as I've already said, stay on the bike. Even if you're uncomfortable, even if you don't feel like riding very fast, you're always going to be better staying on the bike, but just get through those low points. Life will improve. The sun will come out. You'll feel better. And in the end, you'll be glad you did. Another tip, especially for first-time riders, if you've never done PBP, is to use a drop bag. Now, I've got a whole other video about drop bags, but that's basically a small bag that you pack full of change of clothes, spare batteries, food, whatever you want to put in there, and it will be taken out on the course for you, so you don't have to carry everything with you the entire length of, of PVP. So it's a very helpful tool. Uh, I will be part of the team that is doing that for the American riders this year, so if you're doing PVP and you're especially with the American contingent, you'll see me at the beginning. You'll see me out in Ludiac, which is where we're taking the bags. But a drop bag is a great tool. It lets you start off the second and third thirds of the ride in clean clothes, with fresh batteries, with your snacks and your handle bag bar restocked, without having to carry everything the entire way. It's a great tool. We're going to offer that service for a, a very reasonable charge. Well worth it. I've done it every single time, and I would definitely recommend it for anybody doing PvP. All right, two tips to go. Penultimate tip, and that is to, to calm down, especially at the very beginning. You will be tempted, as is almost everybody else, to get on your bike and just start riding as fast as you can, grab a fast pace line, and just start blasting your way toward Brest. That can be fun, but I would, I would advise a more measured approach. Avoid that kind of over-enthusiasm at the beginning. It's a long ride, and you certainly don't want to burn yourself out in the first you know, first hundred kilometers or less. Save your strength. Uh, don't get involved in big pace lines. Don't get involved in crashes. When that does happen, especially when everybody is kind of antsy and riding too fast in groups with people that they don't know. So calm down. Take a measured approach. Keep in mind it's a very long event. Start out at a reasonable pace and you'll be fine. Avoid the dangers of going too fast, especially you know, on the first legs of the ride. You'll thank yourself on the second half, believe me. All right, and that brings us to my last tip for this video, certainly not the least important tip. And that is, when you're out there on PVP, is just to have fun. It's a fun event. Yeah, it's difficult and it can be as stressful as you want to make it, but have fun. 
it's such a great time. The people of France are wonderful. It's a, the scenery is nice. You'll be out there having a great adventure with friends, hopefully meeting new people, having gr some fantastic experiences. So focus on having some fun when you're out there. It doesn't have to be a whole bunch of stress. You don't have to worry about every single thing, every single minute of the ride. You know, as I said, you're going to have low points. Even if you have a plan, things are going to go wrong. Just let it roll off your back. Ignore those things. And just focus on having a great time out on PVP. Actually, one last tip. And that is, watch my videos. If there's anything in this video that you wanted to learn more about, I will put a link to a playlist of all my PVP videos in the description below. You can dive into any of those subjects in more detail if you need to. And hopefully by sharing my experiences and what I've learned, I can help you have a better ride and have and make PVP the, the best experience it can be for everybody. All right, that's it. As I record this, it's about 10 weeks until the start of the ride. I will see you all in France if you're going there. Again, if you're doing our drop bag service, I'll see you in Rambouillet and Ludiac. So stay safe, keep riding. I'll see you soon in France. Bye. Okay, so speaking of top tips, here's a bonus tip. Now, I'm riding right now with Tara Flanagan. And Tara, you've done PVP how many times? Uh, just the one in 2019. Well, just the one, but still. So Tara is one of those people that I've recommended that you find, ride with someone who's done it before. So Tara, having done it before, what are your top maybe one or two tips? The... Uh, my top tip is put the suffering in on your long distances even after you qualify. I'm riding my 600K today as a worker's ride. But after this, I'm going to have some really hard, long back-to-back -back days on my bike. That's one more thing, way I think I can improve from 2019. The other thing is everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. <laughs> as I think Mike Tyson is known to have said. You can have a plan for what you think is going to happen at PVP. Try to stick with your plan, but something will come up. You'll want to panic or freak out. You cannot panic because panic takes energy and you don't have an ounce to spare. So have a plan, but be adaptable on your plan. Good point. Yeah, you definitely got to be flexible because things are going to happen beyond your control. Yeah the best laid plan something is going to go wrong it will all right well thanks tara and good luck today on your 600 thanks eric and tara will be over there in france woot. One, way, one way or another woot woot they can't keep me out